Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the ScareCorp channel. Today I'm back with a video on how to set a static IP on your Android device. So you could set it on a tablet uh, like this one. This is my Asus um, transformer. Or you can set it on a phone as well. So this is uh, a tutorial on Android 4.0. It might vary on others, uh, but this is how you do it on this one. So I'm not going to go into why you want to set a static IP, you have your own reasons and there's tons of them, but uh, I'll show you how to do that. So first navigate to your settings tab, and then go into your Wi-Fi settings, and a lot of the tutorials online sh tell you that you can do it right from here by just going into the advanced page. Um, and be able to do it from here. Problem with that is yes it does show you that you have an IP there but you can't do anything there. So what you do is you go back to the advanced and actually if you're already connected to a uh, BSID you want to disconnect from that so just click on it and go forget. I have a second one here and this is why I this is my reason for setting a static IP address. So, so my other one here uh, so this is usually how, where you would put your password um, and then just hit connect and connect. But actually if you go show advanced options here under IP settings this is where uh, where we want to go. So you have the DHCP setting and you also have the static setting. So if you hit the static button this is where you can do an IP address, gateway, subnet mask and your DNS. So um, you know, my in my particular case, uh, the IP address might stay the same, but I might point it to a different gateway, thus a different router. So to find out what your um, address is in your network or what your gateway is, you can just actually go into any PC in your network and type in ipconfig, and that'll give you your IP address, some of the mask, and the gateway that that uh, you're connected to. So in this case, I would fill that all in in here, put in my password, and hit connect, and that will do it. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, nice and easy. There's nothing really to it. Um, if you have any other questions uh, about subnetting or or um, networks, uh, just let me know. Um, you know, you can post a comment or whatever you need to do. And uh, if you like this video and if you think it was informative, I would do appreciate if you could subscribe or if you hit the like button, that would help me out. And that's it for now. So uh, we'll catch you on the next trip. See you later.